Hello and welcome everyone to today's webinar, which is brought to you by Better Size Instruments. Particle size distribution plays a significant role in determining the performance and quality of inks, paints, and coatings. Particle shape refers to the geometric considerations, characteristics of individual particles, such as their form, roundness, and aspect ratio. Capacity equals hiding power, so basically it's covering ability. Smaller particles have a larger surface area to volume ratio, as I've mentioned, and this allows them to scatter light more effectively. This increased scattering enhances the hiding power of the coating, making it more effective at covering the surface. In summary, both particle size and shape are critical factors that influence the dispersion, stability, hiding power, mechanical properties, and final appearance of inks, paints, and coatings. Proper optimization of these factors is essential for achieving high-performance formulations. Common formulation challenges include achieving consistent particle size distribution. Here, the challenges involve smaller particles which may aggregate, forming large clusters that affect performance. Part of the solutions involve using advanced particle size analyzers to monitor and control particle size distribution and employing dispersion techniques to break up aggregates and ensure uniform particle size. In terms of quality control, the goal here is to maintain batch-to-batch -batch consistency to ensure product reliability and customer satisfaction. Challenges, of course, arise from the variability in raw materials and process conditions, which can lead to differences in color, viscosity, and performance. This is our first case study Monitoring spring paint quality with the better size of 2600. Why is my spray paint not working is a question many of us have asked. We listed out some common culprits here. Everything from low pressure and poor mixing to clogged nozzles and improper storage. The culprit was identified using the better size of 2600 oversized particles. This distribution curve reveals of those oversized particles that peak highlighted with the red box even when most particles are in the right size. These oversized particles can disrupt the optimal packing of smaller particles, reducing overall viscosity and leading to inconsistent flow and clogging. The better size of 2600 help this paint provider identify and quantify these oversized particles allowing them to adjust their process and solve the problem with an optimized grinding setup and final filtration. This award-winning instrument, recognized with the 2024 iNovo Award, offers unparalleled measurement capabilities with its modular design, from paint suspensions to pigment dry powders. With its unique optical design, the better size of 2600 boasts an exceptionally wide particle size range, handling everything from 0.02 to 2600 microns with wet dispersion and 0.1 to 2600 microns with dry dispersion. Beyond size, the better size of 2600 also measures particle shape, another crucial factor thanks to the powerful PIC1 image analysis module. We are investigating nano-size pigment dispersibility and stability in inks, a core challenge in ink formulation. The B-Nano provides reliable zeta-potential analysis, crucial for keeping pigment stability dispersed in inks. Here, we have a face plot on the upper right and the corresponding results down here from a nano-pigment ink sample. How do we analyze the stability of coatings and other suspension systems in general? Static multiple light scattering, or SMLS, is a powerful, non-destructive, simple, and fast technique. To wrap up this section of coating stability, let me introduce the B-Scan Lab Stability Analyzer. Based on SMLS technology, the B-Scan Lab provides quick and direct stability measurements these are just a few of many success stories we have seen with better size products. Leading brands in the paint, ink, and coating industries rely on better sizer products for their particle characterization needs. 
Um, agglomerations are typically handled with, in many of our devices, for example, in laser diffraction with mechanical stirring and adjustable ultrasound. Um, and obviously you can prepare your sample externally with a, an ex external ultrasound. And again, we can use the addition of surfactants and dispersing agents to help in terms of how to handle agglomeration, FDA agglomeration.